Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a calculated column in a table. So let's get started. If you look into this file, okay, for cells, and then you will see that I do have a table and that's a cells data table. And I want to add a calculated column here that is going to be the price. And that's just a simple formula like, you know, quantity and unit price. So that is just like price and that is going to be just okay that's the formula for that price call i'll show you how to do this using office script so let's delete this and let's get started so before going into the technical coding details i would request you to subscribe to my channel and consider hitting the bell icon so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos so at first you need to go into the automate tab click on the new script okay and then change this name to add calculated call so that's the script name i'll just delete all of this boilerplate code so i'll declare a constraint for the table name okay and that is basically what we have here cell underscore data and then i will declare another constraint for the new column name that is new call name and that is let's say price okay i'll declare another constraint for the formula formula is just multiply this with this so let's get this and put that. i can ignore this cells data part because it's in the same table so you can just ignore that part okay so these are the constraint and i'll create a function you need you know simply function with these three parameter so function add calculated little column and the first one is table name and that is of type string second on is this new call name that is of type string as well and the formula that is of type string as well and it will not have any return type so that's it okay so function table name of okay. function okay so now let's get the table first so i need the work to workbook of type workbook excel script dot workbook okay now constant table is going to be workbook dot get table and the table name should be the key now it can be that i don't have the table right so i can just add a validation that if table and if it's not then just return this okay so if i don't have a valid table then just exit this particular form now the next part is that column right so that is going to be call table column okay and that is going to be table dot get column by name and then i can just pass this new column name now this could be that i don't have the column yet so i'll just say okay if i don't have the table column then what i need to do i need to add the column okay that is going to be if i don't have the column then so instead of constant it should be a let because i need to change the value for that one so table column is going to be table dot add column right so i need to pass the index i'll pass the minus one that's the last index okay i need to pass the values i need to pass the name so i'll just change the later one so now i do have the table column right so i need to change the name first so that is table column dot name that is set name right and then type is the name of this is going to be new column name right and now i need to put the formula right so i'll just say table column dot get you can see the range between header and totals right dot set formula local and then i can just pass the formula and that is the formula okay and that's it now let's say if i do have the table column then i just want to update formula and particular function right so i'll just say return okay now that's it let's see in action so add column i'll just pass the first parameter is workbook then table name then column name right so that is name column name and then third parameter is the formula so let's save this first and then click on this button and you can see it has added this price column on this particular table now let me show you that if it's actually working then you know if it's updating the formula or not so let's say if i just want to change this formula to add 10 that is just like you know any specified amount for any specific region okay so if i just run this it will just update the formula right and you can see that right so that's it for this video let me know if you have any question or suggestion and 
feel free to share this video with anyone who may find this helpful have a good day